the first chef of the Young Guns edition of Hell's Kitchen. Matthew, get back in line and wake up. Okay. Ava, come here. Give me your jacket, please. Now I'm looking for a protege that can be catapulted to the top of the tree. Right now, you are not ready for that. Thank you. My expectations coming into this competition were pretty high. I thought I had a good shot, but my first two challenges sucked. But at the end of the day, Matthew had uncooked chicken, and I think maybe he should be standing here. Defeat on opening night. The blue team has nominated Peyton and Matthew. But Chef Ramsay wants more. And Jay, step forward quickly. Peyton. I don't feel your hunger, so tell me why you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. Chef, I got a lot more drive in me. I have too much of a strong passion to leave at this point. I, I want to show you that I have what it takes to really do the bounce back. You know, next service, I'm really, I'm ready to give you all that I have. I am not done here. Jay, I didn't even call the first table, and then the salmon you delivered was raw. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I definitely should stay because I do have a lot of hunger, a lot of drive within me. Uh, I can definitely bounce back after figuring out that I did mess up on the first salmon. We definitely got a decent amount of salmon out, and I just want to show you more. Matthew, at Signature Dish, you delivered me a dish full of <laughs> Then, in the alcohol challenge, you served me a raw chicken. And then tonight, you served me Worst of all, your attitude sucks. Therefore, I'm not listening to your Give me your jacket. <sighs> Young man, if you're gonna stay in this industry, get your together. Yes, sir. And the next time you decide to cook protein, use it properly. Good night. I definitely hoped I could last longer, but Hell's Kitchen is hell for a reason. Yes, I use the meat thermometer, but I promise I can actually cook real food. I really wanted Chef to see who I am, but I feel like I just never... Blue team, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank God for that. Peyton. Yes, Chef. Blue team's first nominee and why? Uh, chef, our first nomination uh, is Alex. Alex. Why? He's taken responsibility for the uh, the last piece of chicken that went out that was raw. The blue team's second nominee. Our second nominee is... Jay. Why? Jay seemed to be struggling on the uh, garnish station. Certain points when we were ready with our proteins, uh, he didn't have garnish working. Okay. Jay, Alex, step forward, please. Hurry up. I am not in a good mood tonight for... Jay, why was it so difficult tonight? Communication just come from the meat station. It was messing me up, and I definitely came just a little unprepared today. Is that right? The meat station screwed the garnish station tonight. I, it, got, it became really overwhelming once the chicken, you know, started becoming ordered in. Can you cook chicken? Yes, chef, I can cook chicken. I know I can cook chicken. Behind you is an array of talent that could easily identify the chicken's cooked or not, right? Yes, chef. So did they also tell you it was cooked? Yes, I communicated with them and asked them oh as well, and they God. agreed so with me. What you're saying, that nobody behind you can cook a chicken now as well? Yes, Chef. Who told you it was cooked? Uh, Antonio. Antonio, oh my God. Antonio, come up here. I didn't touch that chicken, Chef. So who told Alex the chicken was cooked? Whoever pulled him. Names, please. Trenton. Trenton, come up here, you. What the f is going on? You told him the chicken was cooked. Absolutely not. Oh my God. Chef, I did. I. Oh so my I, lord. I fired, I fired the chicken. He was behind. I put I'm the chicken in the pan. I'm for 30 seconds. I want to come down and you tell me the truth. Chicken game.
I'm going to upstairs in my office for 30 seconds. I want to come down. You tell me the truth. Chicken gate. Who checked the chickens? I never I I didn't touch the chickens once I came out of the oven. Who touched the chicken? Who, it to the Who touched it? It never got touched. Who took them to the pass? I know I sure didn't. Alex, did you take them to the pass? Sam, I'm pretty sure you ran the chicken. I didn't put them to the pass because I put them in front of you. I'm pretty sure I had you run the chicken. Remember, who ran the chicken? I guarantee you, you ran the chicken. No one, no, honestly. Yeah, like, this is ridiculous. She's coming. Oh, boy. This is not normal. Let's start again. Alex, who told you the chicken was cooked? Sam. Sam, oh my God. Sam, come up here, you. Yes, Chef. So you told him the chicken was cooked? I did not touch the chicken. I pulled it from the oven and I did not touch it. Well, you should have touched it. If you pull it from the oven, you should touch it. I agree, I should I have touched it from the oven. I didn't feel comfortable that that was cooked. How about this, Alex? Keeping control of your chicken. Yes, Chef. Unbelievable. So now we've got to the bottom of Chicken Gate. You opened up the oven, pulled them out, didn't even think of checking them, and handed them to Alex. Yes, Chef. Oh, my Lord. Now, that is teamwork, not... Trenton back in line and Tony off back in line. Sam, don't commit to something you're not in control and you're not prepared to follow through with. Yes, Chef. Back in line. Alex, 10 seconds. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I came here for a reason, and I'm not backing down. I know that I have a good fight in myself, and I want to keep learning from you, Chef. Jay, 10 seconds. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, you know that I have a voice. You know that I have drive. You know that I have skill. Communication was definitely a little bit off. I had a rough day, came in a little bit unprepared, but I definitely picked myself up and definitely was speeding up and getting ready to go. My decision is? Jay, take off your jacket, young man. Your time is done. You know, if you can't get the garnish right, you've got no chance of becoming my head chef. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. I'm definitely pissed off right now. You know, at least I was honest about my mistakes. I think Alex should have been the one going home tonight. But this is definitely not the last time the world has seen Chef J.I. I'm definitely going to go home, and I'm going to bounce back. I'm going to keep Red team, have you reached a consensus? Yes, yes Chef. chef. Emily. Yes, Chef. First nominee, and why? Our first nominee, Chef, is Bryn. She misfired some tickets and confused the line. Second nominee. Our second nominee is Josie Chef. She was struggling with her pizzas. Okay. Trenton. Yes, Chef. First nominee and why? Our first nominee? Alex. There wasn't a whole lot of communication. You had to go make a walk down memory lane, and it was, it was just embarrassing, Chef. Blue Team's second nominee and why? Antonio. Antonio put up some completely unacceptable scallops and uh, just saw a lot of salmon just going up completely raw. Antonio, Alex, Josie, Bryn, step forward, please. What a night. Josie. Yes, Chef. Are you done, young lady? No, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have a great mindset, and I haven't lost confidence in myself. I know how to work the station now, and I also know how to communicate with the team. Bryn. Yes, Chef. Are you the weakest chef in the red team? I am not chef. Who is? Victoria chef. I'd agree. Bryn, back in line. Victoria, get up here. Victoria, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen, young lady? Chef, I believe I have the leadership quality. I just need to find my voice, and I'm going to show you that I can bounce back. Tonight's performance, shocking. Alex, tonight was a disaster. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I believe I should stay in Hell's Kitchen, Chef, because I don't want to quit. I know I have the willingness and the drive to show you that I'm capable, and I know that I can pick myself back up and learn from my mistake. Antonio. Yes, Chef. 
Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef had a bad night. I know it. I recognize it. I know how I can fix it. I'm going to fix it. It's not going to happen again, Chef. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Alex, give me a jacket, young man. You talk the talk, but you are not backing it up with experience, young man, and you are not ready right now to become my next head chef. Yes, chef. Good night. I'm kind of bummed out that I lost tonight, but having the opportunity to learn from one of the greatest chefs in the world makes me want to push even harder and show the whole world what this generation is capable of. And I am not going to stop. I'm not done yet. Victoria, give me your jacket, young lady. Tonight was a bad night for you. You are careless. And you are going to the blue team. Move. Josie. Yes, sir. Get a grip. Back in line. Yes, sir. Antonio. Yes, Chef. Back in line. Yes, Chef. I'm not going to experience another service like that. Emily, Megan, you're going to the blue team. Time for some drastic measures. Yes, chef. Peyton, Sam, you two are in the red team. I have to shake up both teams, and I'm hoping right now that I have two competent teams. Understood? Yes, yes Chef. Now get out of here. After a disastrous dinner service, the red team was asked to nominate three chefs. They started with... Peyton Chef. And... Morgana. Red team's third nominee, please. That was incredibly difficult. I need an answer. Keanu Chef. She did seem scrambled. Wow. Were you scrambled? No, Chef. You didn't look it. That does not make sense. Kiana, stay where you are. Peyton, Morgana, step forward. Morgana. Yes, yeah, Chef. Tough night. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Um, I learned from tonight. Um, I learned what not to do. And I fought, even though I was drowning, and I just I'm just going to keep pushing myself to do better. Peyton, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen, young man? Chef, going over to the Red Kitchen, I felt like I, I didn't have the confidence in my team. There were a couple of them that I didn't feel the confidence back at me. Right. Who was letting you down the Red Team? Bryn told me straight up she did not feel as confident with me coming on the Red Team. Did you give Peyton a hard time? No. So what's Peyton going on about? I don't know, Chef. I know I made some stupid mistakes. My voice was definitely out there, and that's something I definitely improved on. I know I'm making progress. My decision is? Peyton. Wake up, get back in line. Morgana, give me your jacket, please. Young lady, you came in here, you cooked some great dishes. But there's one thing that you need to start understanding, the power of your voice. I know, young lady, you are not ready to become my head chef. Thank you. Good night. Good night, chef. I'm disappointed in myself. I should have done better. I should have asked for help. I should have reached the expectations that I was given. I know I can cook, but tonight I just didn't perform. And here we are again. Red team, on a night when I was desperate for a good service, Megan's 21st birthday, you failed to deliver. Have you reached a consensus? Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank God for that. Keanu, Red Team's first nominee and why? Our first nominee is Sam. He was the lead on the meat station tonight, and the station kind of just fell apart. Red Team's second nominee and why? Our second nominee is Peyton. He sent up your daughter's flavorless noodles. And Red Team's 
third nominee? Our third nominee is Josie because she was the one who pulled the lamb out and brought it up to the pass and said it was done. OK. Sam, Peyton and Josie step forward. Sam, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm ready to fight Chef, and uh, I have a lot that I have to show you. And I need to take responsibility for the meat station and not allow other people to be brought down with me. Peyton, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I know I made some mistakes, and I feel absolute about it, especially for your daughter. And I'm sorry I sent her up flavorless dish tonight, but I feel like that I'm growing stronger and stronger every day. I, I know I can do better, Chef. I really do. Josie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I know better than the mistake I made tonight, Chef. And I know better than to try to intervene on other people's stations, because it ends up throwing everything off. My decision is? Josie, get back in line, young lady, and don't dare hand me somebody else's mistake ever again. Is that clear? Yes, yeah, Chef. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is? Peyton. Give me your jacket, young man. I love the fight, but I've given you so many chances. And right now, you are not ready to become my head chef. Good night. Thank you, chef. And good luck. I appreciate it. Thank you. Get out of here. Disappointed in myself. I know I could have done better, but I gave his daughter a entree on her 21st birthday. This has been an amazing journey, and I've learned so much to be a better chef, to be a better man. No, there's not even a, there's not even a call back. There's no teamwork. There's nothing. Hey, all of you, stop. Come here, Jay. Take over. Come here. Off. Oh. Oh. They're getting in trouble again. Private meeting in the back's never good. I think they're doing so well, he's just going to go back there and high five them. Yeah, high five everybody and bring them <laughs> yeah. private high five. What is happening? We have no consistency. There's no communication. No one's absolutely on the same page. You, what's wrong with you? I just have to get my head out of my ass, Chef. Your head out of your ass. Every table you've touched, yeah? Yeah, Chef. You screwed. Apron off, jacket off, and <laughs> off out of here. You're done. Um, ladies. Both dishes had pros and cons. The person heading back to the dorm and continuing in the competition is... Victoria. Thank Please you. say goodbye to Keanu and head back to the dorm. Thank you. You didn't really need to. OK. Keep in touch. Young lady, step forward, please. You're a firecracker. You have a focused, determined, tenacious mind. <laughs> You've done your parents proud, Baltimore proud, so head up high. Yes, yeah, Chef. I need your jacket, please, my Thank you. <laughs> Promise me you'll keep your head up high? Yes, yeah, Chef. Good girl. Take care. Oh, boy. I was not ready to go home, but I'm not going to let this knock me down for sure. If anything, it has awoken a fire in me. I'm just happy to have made it this far. I'm just so proud of myself. I'm like, <laughs> look, Mom, I really made it. <laughs> Trenton, Blue Team's first nominee and why? Our first nominee is Megan. From the uh, pasta water in the beginning to uh, just the lack of communication. It set a bad tone for the entire service, Chef. Second nominee and why? Victoria, the raw fish. There just wasn't a whole lot of drive. Never heard her voice the whole night, Chef. Red team, Bryn, first nominee and why? The first nominee, Chef, is myself. I was in charge of the fish, and it did not go as planned. There was raw fish. Red Team's second nominee and why? The second nominee, Chef. 
Josie chef. She sent up raw meat, and the meat course suffered. Victoria, Megan, Bryn, Josie, step forward. Megan, tell me why you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I'm absolutely a leader. I think I've been consistent thus far, and I think tonight's performance does not reflect my performance as a chef. Victoria, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I feel like I haven't uh, quite used my voice, and I know I have it. I know I have the skills to be here, and I just need a chance to show you that I have it. Bryn, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I believe that I am a leader, and I believe that I do have the ability to communicate within the kitchen and keep the team on a steady track. Josie. Yes, Chef. You lost control of your course tonight. Why? Chef, I didn't have eyes on the filet to start. You didn't know where your meat was going, young lady. You need to know. Um, I thought I had that, and I didn't, Chef. The job is head chef. I'm looking for my protege. Yes, yes chef. My decision is? <laughs> Megan, get back in line and get a grip. Yes, chef. Victoria, take off your jacket. Young lady, right now, you are not ready to become my next protege. Good night. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. I don't feel like I let my team down. In fact, I don't think my mistakes were necessarily as great as some of the others, but I've learned countless lessons, and those are things I will carry with me throughout the rest of my life. Wow, what a night. Kaya, your nominee from the red team, and why, please? My nominee is for Josie tonight, Chef. The entire dinner service relied on the garnishes to be pushed out, and we found ourselves lagging on those for quite some time. Megan. Yes, Chef. Who is your nominee from the blue team, and why? My nominee is... Steve. Steve. Just based off of tonight's performance, for me, it boils down to communication, and he's just one of our quieter people in the kitchen. Josie, Steve, step forward, please. Let's go. Steve, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Tonight was a fluke. It doesn't define me as a chef. You know that, I know that. Everybody behind me knows this. I can guarantee you that when I come back, I promise you that I'll be firing in that sixth gear. I'm firing on all cylinders, and I'm ready to kick ass and take some initials, because names take too long to right now. <sighs> wow. Josie, rough night. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I've learned so much, and I'm not done growing. Chef, this is the environment that I thrive in, one that is keeping me growing and keeps me under pressure. This is, this is where I belong, Chef. And I couldn't be happier. <laughs> I have so much left. The person leaving House Kitchen is... <laughs> Josie. Young lady, give me your jacket, please. Listen, and listen carefully. Yes, Chef. Right now, you're not ready to become my protege, but you're on track, and someday you will get there because there's that steely, focused, determined, gutsy chef. I feel your passion. Thank you, Chef. I'd like to wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Take care. Thank you. I'm so disappointed. I'm gonna miss Emily. She's been such a great friend to me. But at the same time, I'm proud of myself. This was a great experience, and whoever ends up hiring me is going to be really lucky, because I've learned.
At this point in the competition, there should not be a complete meltdown. Bryn, Red Team's first nominee and why? Uh, our first nominee chef is Antonio Chef. Antonio, why? Salmon Chef. What else? And hiding behind asparagus, Chef. Hiding behind asparagus. It's exactly that. Red Team's second nominee. Sam Chef. Uh, Sam. Yes, Chef. He struggled getting out the chicken, Chef, tonight, which is ultimately what got the Red Team kicked out of the kitchen, Chef. Antonio, Sam, step forward. Hurry up. This is a joke, guys. Sam. Yes, Chef. Tough night. Are you the weakest cook in the Red Team? No, Chef. Who is? <sighs> Young man, you may sweat your off asking one question. Is that difficult? God help you if you ever run a steakhouse with 52 chefs in the kitchen. God help you. In the red team, who is the weakest cook? Chef, I, I, it's hard to say between my... No, I need, I need one answer. One straight <laughs> answer is all required. That is it. Who is the weakest chef in the red team? Chef, tonight was uh, this, the chicken tonight tripped me up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll move on. Antonio, who is the weakest cook in the red team? Sam. Sam. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Sam, give me a jacket, young man. Yes, Chef. Listen up. Your effort is 100%. I can't ask for a more passionate young man. But when I ask you a question, give me a answer. That is it, young man. Yes, Chef. Head up, continue climbing the ladder, and one day, you're going to get there. Understood? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Good Appreciate job. everything you've done for me. Head up. Good night, Sam. I'm definitely pissed. Antonio really me over this night. That's really honestly was my demise. He's the person that should be standing here. But, you know, I, I'm not the type to push blame around. I'm the type to own up to it and, you know, learn from it. The little mistakes is what kills you, and that's what happened tonight. The first chef not receiving a black jacket is. Emily. Young lady, come over, please. Let me tell you something. You've been one of the best learners in this competition. And I don't know if I've ever met a chef with a more positive, stunning outlook than you have on a daily basis. There's something infectious about your energy that you bring to light every day. You have a very wise head on your shoulders. Thank you, chef. And inside, there's this little genius that's just about to start emerging. Okay. This is such an amazing experience. Oh, dear. Oh. You're going out on a high. Yes, Don't sir. you dare forget that, yes, OK? Sir. Yes, chef. I'm going to have to ask for your jacket, young lady. Yes, chef. Well done. Thank you, chef. Head up. Thank OK? You. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Ah, I really did want that black jacket. That is a disappointment. But you know, this experience has just meant the world to me. I will remember this for the rest of my life. I think my future is so bright oh, that... Steve and Antonio, those two excellent dishes you gave me. It felt that everything you've learnt and strive for in this competition are across those dishes. The final chef to receive a black jacket is... Steve. Jump. Young man, I think you've just cooked the best dish you've ever produced in this competition. Thank you, Chef. It showed grace. It had a depth of flavor beyond belief. But more importantly, it's one of the most passionate dishes I've tasted from you. Thank you, Chef. This is the best moment of my life. I'm not going to lie to you. It, it really is. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Well done. I don't know if I could have done this without old Nana, because the whole reason I got this jacket is because of that woman. and. I'm just so grateful that she took the time to teach me all the things that she taught me. Antonio, right, uh, listen carefully. You have this energy about you for 23. You cook like you're 33. 
You're a hard worker, you wear your heart on your sleeve, and your attitude is incredible. You may not be getting a black jacket tonight, but you definitely do have a wonderful career ahead of you. Thank you, Chef. Now I need your jacket. Head up. Yes? yes. Chef. On a button. Definitely see you later, Chef. I appreciate it so much. Yes. OK? Yes, Chef. Oh, boy. It's the difference between beating myself and getting beat by somebody who was better. It's a night Steve was better. And that's, that's OK with me. It's been a hell of a ride. I'm, I'm glad I did it. Chef Ramsay would do. After the first Black Jacket dinner service, Chef Ramsay has asked the final five to nominate two chefs. Their first nominee was... Brent Chef. Second nominee and why? Second nominee is... Uh... Megan, I need a voice. Uh... Steve Chef. Steve. It was really, really hard, Chef. We just feel um, communication has been an issue across this competition. Very tough indeed. Brent, Steve, step forward, please. OK, Brent. Yes, Chef. An amazing journey. You have this bump of anxiety that you get over. Then when you're settling down, it's almost like a different Brent. Yes, Chef. What is the issue? Oh, sorry. I'm young, so I'm still learning a lot. Um, but, you know, it is that self-doubt. You know, I get that little anxiety, but I get over it and I get through it. And the more experience you have, the shorter the moment of anxiety. Yes, Chef. So tell me, truthfully, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I have been learning so much. I just need to keep working on it, which I am daily, weekly, monthly. I'm so hungry for this position, and I know that this is the one challenge that I have to overcome. Steve. Yes, Chef. You've been one of the most consistent chefs in this competition. The finesse you hold is extraordinary for a 21-year-old. You cook with confidence, and you have the swagger. If there's one thing that I doubt right now, is the voice to back up the cooking. Tell me, honestly, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Um, from a young age, you've been like one of my biggest inspirations. And learning from you has kind of been like one of my goals. And like to be your protege and to be molded into that great chef is kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, I, I could be more vocal. I'm working on it. But I'm stable up here as well, just like mentally. I'm, I'm a rock when it comes to this. Sometimes when you shut down internally, it gives you the impression that you don't care. How can you turn that around? I don't really know how to do it. And I'm kind of hoping that you can teach me how to do it. This is really tough, but this competition is coming to an end. I wish I could have five protégés. It's not the way it works. My decision is Steve, take off your jacket. Young man, there is no doubt in my mind that you're going to have a great career. Let's get that absolutely clear. Your attitude has been solid. You never complained once, and you've come back fighting time and time again. After this competition is done, my door is still open. Thank you. OK? In fact, Keep your jacket, <laughs> OK? I don't want it. Thank you, Chef. Take care, Steve. Thank you for being such a worthy competitor. Thank you for having me. It's bittersweet. I came here to learn as much as possible from Chef Ramsay. Show me your second gear now. Yes, chef. Show me a third. Let's go. Yes, chef. I definitely feel like I learned so much. Every minute I need to hear from y'all, all right? Every, every, every 60 seconds I need to hear it. Chef Randy, it's definitely boosted my confidence a whole hell of a lot. Your control cooking fish and meat is perfect. Thank you. Shrimp and grits, my grandmama's favorite. The final black jacket chef is Steve. I definitely had a good time. Season 20, Hell's Kitchen. Gordon wrapped these mad because we gave him raw chicken. <laughs> and I'm super grateful for the experience. <laughs> Overall, Hell's Kitchen has meant the world to me. I know I made Grandma proud. 
You know, she's the whole reason I'm here. So I know she was looking down, watching the whole time. And I know she's happy, so that's cool. The final chef joining Megan and Trenton in the final three. Congratulations goes to... Kaya. You did it, girl. You should be proud. Well done. Young lady, your never ever say die attitude is extraordinary. Also, the way that you are so strong with everything you do is exemplary. Thank you, Chef. Bryn. Yes, Chef. Step forward. Oh, boy, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm sorry you're not going to be continuing, but already at 21, you're an excellent chef. What you've overcome to be here and what you stand for. Young lady, if you can overcome and manage those fears, you are going to soar. Thank you, Chef. Your future has no limits. Thank you, Chef. Understand that. Yes, Chef. I don't want your jacket tonight. Keep it as a reminder of how much you've grown inside this competition. Thank you, Chef. Come here and say goodbye. Thank you, Chef. Aye, aye, aye. Thank you, Get Chef. Get out of here, girl. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. The goodbyes get harder and harder. It really, really does suck that I don't have the opportunity anymore to be Chef Ramsay's protege, but I'm extraordinarily proud of myself and how much I've grown. When I first came in, I was afraid, scared, vulnerable. We're having an anxiety attack. We were rocking our stations, and now look where the f we are. We have three people that are going up. Now, the chef I am, I just bounced back. Brin, for the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen history, I'm going to give out a second punishment pass. Well done. <laughs> the second chef to receive their black jacket is Brin. Well done. Oh I came in fourth out of so many people. You have a super positive mind and one of the most assertive uh, and super strong. Thank you, Chef. I'm so eternally grateful for being here and having the opportunity to not only, you know, just become a better chef, but find out who I am. Why do I have to be this guy? Sorry. Eight. Eight. Congratulations, Megan, for reaching the finale. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? Oh, my God. I absolutely deserve to be a finalist. I earned it. Thank you so much. Thank you so See much. See you back in the hospital. Yeah, back. Thank you. Kaya, you've just come up a hair short of a place in the finale, but you've become the best sponge this year in Hell's Kitchen. You pick up on everything. You're strong, you're tough, you're smart, you're passionate. <laughs> and you have an amazing future in front of you. Congratulations, young lady. Thank you, Please chef. join your fellow contestants. Well done. Good job. Who the f would have thought that a girl from Barrelville would be on Hell's Kitchen and make it to the final round before the finale? I didn't really know I could learn as much stuff as I have here, and I didn't know that along this process, I'd find my voice in a kitchen and find my confidence. Oh, thank you. Definitely feeling proud of myself. The chef whose door opens will become the winner of Hell's Kitchen's Young Guns. They will become my head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak 2.0. On the count of three, turn your handle. One, two, three. Different decision I've ever had to make, okay? I was so tight. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh my god. Let's go, guys. Come on, downstairs. I've worked and I've worked and I've wanted to push myself and be more and more every single day. <laughs> I can't believe the door opened. Whoa. Oh, man. 
put that in the room, man. You did such a great job. I'm so proud of you. This really sucks. Obviously, I wanted to win, but at the end of the day, so happy for Trey. First of all, well done. I mean, he deserves it. Please give it up for your season 20 winner, Trenton. Amazing. Congrats. Congrats. Oh, boy.